Hello, my two fishes friends. Hello, Pisces. How are you? I hope you are well. Thank you for clicking here. I appreciate you. Whether you are the Pisces with the sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Jupiter, or you're cross-watching for someone else, I am glad you're here. So, we will go um, and do this reading. It is for the week ahead, Pisces. Um, oh, by the way, I am your two fishes sister. It is in my moon sign. And uh, yeah, I'm a Pisces moon. That's why I'm able to sit here and do this for you. Okay, so here we go. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter, Pisces. What is coming up for you in the week ahead, Pisces? Pisces. All right. Uh -huh. Someone's about to come clean, Pisces. It could be you or your person. But I think that um, in the process of coming clean or telling the truth, I feel like there's going to be some deceit involved. I feel like you're going to you're going to come to know what actually happened. What happened back there, right? You're going to actually know what happened back there. Somebody's coming in to come clean to tell you about all the ways they know that they deceived you. And um I feel like it's it's going to be an intense conversation, an intense meeting because I feel both of you um, are highly intelligent and very much up in your head about what's been going on here, um, what's been going on in the past. I feel like somebody's been waiting for someone who may be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, you could be waiting for them. Um, but also you could you could also have uh, air in your chart, right? We've got lots of swords here. So we're looking at Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But um, I feel like somebody is going to be in the near future that is financially stable. This person is also quite spiritual. And I do believe that the reason that they are financially stable is because they're spiritual. I believe that to be the spirit animal. This person is... Um, this person is single or looking for a mate, someone who will take that ace of pentacles. Someone is looking for something to invest in whether that be a person, place, or thing. They're looking to make an investment. And I don't mean a financial investment. Um, I mean just an investment in life. Someone that they see, or person, place, or thing, situation that they see as, as a good place to put their time and energy and not only their pentacles, not only their money. Hmm. This could have come from a toxic place too. Okay, there was no conversation. You were all left to your minds, to your thoughts. That's why we're seeing the Five of Swords. Um, I feel like because of the deception here that you weren't talking, maybe one felt like the other one was lying to them, but I feel like it, it ended up being really toxic. So it not only caused fear and apprehension, but it caused both of you to stop talking to each other because whenever you would get into conversations, maybe it was just arguments or you just didn't really have anything that you could talk about anymore because of the depth that in, at which it got toxic. Um, I feel like we've got silence here. Yeah, silence and then four of pentacles and the one that the king is holding is five. You ended up being on the outside of, of that person's life looking in Pisces and they you. I feel like you stopped communicating. It's like everything slowly shut down. I'm not sharing any more than I have to with you, which is the beginning of the toxic energy. Like, I don't know why someone just couldn't have been honest with these swords here and said, look, I can't, I'm not, I won't, you know, but this person didn't. They just let it kind of slow down to a screeching halt and um, didn't give you any energy at all. They weren't vulnerable with you. They didn't say anything to you. And then all of a sudden the fifth pentacle sets in and then everybody's on the outside looking in. And now what? Now how do we take care of the situation? We have Capricorn energy here as well as Taurus Virgo Capricorn. I think that the fact that somebody had lied and didn't tell the truth um, is what made this whole thing toxic. It's what it, they were holding back the truth. And that's really what made this whole thing toxic, Pisces. It might have been you or it might have been them. Somebody was not being honest with the other person. And I think that's where the start of the toxicity came in. We have uh, three of cups. We have the judgment card 
and we have the Seven of Pentacles. We've been waiting for this meeting or this second time round to come round. I, I wonder if some of you were, were Googling when is the next retrograde, <laughs> wondering when they're going to come forward. And of course, not everybody comes forward. Sometimes it's an old friend. Sometimes somebody that used to live in Australia shows up in your state and they're like, hey, I'm back in town and I live across the street, right? So it can't, it's not always going to be love. But for some of you, it is. this, And I see this as a, a card of emotions, a card of getting together, but it also could be soul, soul group related. It doesn't have to be dating related, but for some of you, it will be. So um, I feel that what became toxic was the energy of... Um, was the energy that you shared because I think you both had uh, feelings for each other. You both have. We're looking at the center of the reading, right? You both have feelings for each other. And because nobody was speaking it out, that's how it became toxic toxic so i feel we have well we have uh pisces piscean and um virgo energy here i feel like um somebody is making the choice to um to take judgment so when we see this setup over here where you know it looks like it it looks like it was all parties that let it fall apart and for some cases it could be one that that blocked the other or something like that take it as it resonates but i feel like the universe is saying you thought it was done you thought it was so toxic that it was done. You stopped talking and you guys disconnected, but it's not done. It's time to go take another run at it if you want. You've been waiting a long time to do this. I feel like this, when I see this card, it's about, yeah, planting the seeds of intention. We let them grow, right? Seven is where we nurture and try and grow. And then the eight is where we harvest. But when I see this particular picture, I see this person with their hand up giving energy to the growth. So somebody's been really working hard on their personal growth, I feel. Not only on their pentacles, but their personal growth. I think it might be the king. Yeah. This person still has feelings for you and they know it. This person had to make the decision that was for all involved. For the best for everyone. So that tells me this... I always see the King of Swords as someone who's very brave and uh, not only brave to speak out on behalf of others, but also the person who is like the judge or the magistrate, someone who has the final word, someone who has the confidence, someone who has the, um, the smarts or the high intelligence enough to see the situation for what it is and then makes uh, a decision accordingly. And sometimes that, that ends up hurting people because he's carrying a double-edged sword, right? Yeah. It's all about the knowledge. I feel like this person, um, they could be Lib Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I have a feeling that they could they could be maybe an emperor uh, in training maybe. But um, I feel like this is the energies we're feeling here. I feel like your person um, had to make a, an executive decision back there. Yeah, they had, to, they had to cut it off for all involved because that was the only way that they were going to be able to heal and get some peace because it was just all about swords, right? There's seven, we have five here, and then we have one in the king's hand. So um, they got up in their head, right? Eight of swords. They, they couldn't make a decision of what they wanted to do, and that's why it took so long. This person has been obsessively thinking about you, Pisces, for a long while, but they're about to stop thinking about it stop agonizing over it. I feel like this person kind of gets nervous or anxious every time they think about the situation not being resolved. And I feel like uh, we got nine swords and one in the king's hand and that makes ten. So the cycle's coming to an end and it's about to renew with the ace of swords, right? The one sword he's carrying, he's bringing in for conversation. Now the conversation I think that you're going to have with this person, uh, Pisces, is going to be very dry. <laughs> <laughs> this person's going to speak to you on a head over heart level. It's going to be a very logical conversation. Yes, there's three cups here. We do have emotion. We have emotional ties or we're from the same soul group. But I feel like this person is going to flip it on you and be very um, less emotional than than they should be. So buy them a break. <laughs> Give them a break. Because I think this person is is very well versed and used to using their voice. But they're not used to feeling the heart space because we only have one card here that has cups on it. And it's it's a three. 
right? So this is the beginning of kind of cracking open the door. The two of the two of cups is like, I know that I have feelings. I know that I'm in love. I have to have this reunion, but I got to be logical about it. I can't just throw my logic out the window. What's coming in the future is complete and total happiness after someone makes this decision. It's like the person didn't want to see how happy the future could be because they were living in such toxicity here. They couldn't see clear about how happy it would be. That's why they got the blindfold on, right? People might have been poking at them. They might have felt like their hands were tied. People might have been poking at them and speaking in their ear. Look, you should do this. You should move forward. But it, has to, it had to be a decision of your person, Pisces. It couldn't be anyone else's decision. This person did emotionally disconnect from you, but I feel like they're ready to come back. I feel like they're coming back feeling better, feeling younger, feeling more spry, feeling like they want to uh, go on a new path of passion, no plans, like, let's just go. Yeah, let's just go. Let's just hit the border. <laughs> let's go for a few days. You know, this person's spontaneous. Um, I feel like um, that's what's coming in the future is the happiness that, that you're going to share with this person. I feel like your cup's going to be overflowing. In a partnership i was just charlie was pointing out that there's nine and there's three here uh which is 12 and one and two or three right and i feel like that is that, that's the partnership it's going to work really well this is going to be a this is going to be a good meeting i know the swords can be a little scary to deal with but you know what if we're all honest and honest in the heart space honest with what we say then there's no reason why this can't uh heal itself right Let's see what amir's cards say for you When this person comes to you, don't expect them to put a ring on it right away. Yeah. And they might not even want that. So for some of you, this person doesn't want commitment from you. They may come in and just offer friendship. Um, I feel like this person is coming in sort of fun and flirty and childlike. We do have the uh, page here. No, we don't. We don't have the page there. We have the Seven of Swords. So we have the, um, I think this was the last reading. This is the spot where the Page of Wands was, sorry. Um, so we have the children and the children say innocence and fun. So I think it's going back to the beginning. I think you guys are going to really take another shot at it here. Judgment card, right? You're both willing to take um, you're both willing to have a conversation and admit your faults, but you do want to come back together and that's why you're honestly going to admit your faults. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Um, the judgment says you're both going to take your part and uh, we can now try again because now everything is even and we can start again. We can go to the world card. We can shut down this crazy cycle or, or chapter that we've had and we can begin new with the fool. So I feel like this person does have, a, does have children or a child. This person uh, may have just purchased a new home. Uh, but I feel like this person does own real estate or property. They're not willing to commit, I think, because they have they have a lot of investments, probably. Um, a lot of investments that maybe they're not willing to share right now. Um, it feels like a right now, though. Like, it doesn't feel like a permanent thing forever in the future. And uh, this person could live a distance from you, or maybe they want to take you um, out um, traveling, or maybe you met them while you were traveling. It says enjoyment, honeymoon, and vacation. So could be day tripping, right? This person could say, I know the best restaurant, but it's in the next state. Let's go over the state line and, and have, uh, have a, uh, a dinner at this place or go over the provincial line or maybe you're going from you know Canada to the US or whatever it is I think you're you're um, on a border of some sort true gems so I feel like this person could have Gemini in the chart um, or they could um, be just someone that you really have value in you see value and quality in this person and you just like somebody would say gosh that person is just they shine so bright they're a real gem um, let's see what's gonna go on in the future feeling a little bit not enough but that's okay because the partnership is coming one two three right and the partnership is coming you're feeling like you waited too long or they are um, somebody's feeling like they waited too long and they were silent for too long and it's making them feel like not enough as they try and move forward into the future i feel like they're moving toward a partnership with you but i really feel like you need to be gentle with them because this person is someone who is not used to expressing emotion not used to really being honest with people and being authentic in that honesty um i feel like this person is someone who really does want this partnership but they're feeling a little bit not enough um 
Yeah, I think that's what it is. We have the Queen of Wands who's in the reverse. So this person might feel a little bit egoic, maybe a little bit selfish. This person is kind of all about them. They are going to take your feelings and words into consideration, but this person is really trying to do their best to be all about them. Yeah. The, you know, the Queen of Wands, of course, is someone who, when in the reverse, can also be really bad at making decisions, that they run at things that, you know, maybe they, maybe this person's had multiple relationships since they saw you in it, that none of them worked because they just didn't think about it first. And the reason that they didn't come toward you is because you'd, they'd been silent with you for so long and they were feeling like not enough. Four of Wands, or sorry, Four of Swords in the reverse tells me somebody has gone through some healing. There we go. Somebody is now emotionally available. And so I feel like this person acted out as the Queen of Wands because they weren't emotionally available. They couldn't emotionally connect. And so that tells me there was a lot of frivolous, uh, passionate energy being thrown at a lot of people. That's what it feels like. I was just flirting with this one. I'm flirting with that one. And you know what I mean? I feel like somebody healed from that. And now they're actually attached to their emotions here, which is great it's only a page but hey we should take it right because this person is now accessing their emotions and now they're ready to maybe give you the apology or move forward to you know maybe it goes from from the page to the night and then it goes to the to the queen or the king like you don't know what'll happen here it's the beginnings of okay i'm gonna crank open the heart space just a little bit so you can actually see who i am because i feel healed enough to do that after sowing my wild oats or whatever you want to call that <laughs> okay let's look at um see how we have the nine of uh cups in the in the near future it's all going to work out so we're going to use my deck here pisces we're going to give you a little more information about who your person is maybe some details that might uh let you know that uh this is um resonating with you and always remember that you know divine timing means it's supposed to happen now but you always have a choice to whether you want to allow this person back into your life i mean we do have the devil under here right it was a toxic thing at the beginning so you know make your own decision all of you are going to make different decisions based on your own circumstances okay pisces let's see what's going on here give us more details for pisces about their person or about pisces all right we start with two We've got 333 and the new moon. So um, I feel like you're seeing repetitive numbers. And when you're seeing the repetitive numbers, I mean, anybody can see them on a clock. We can train our brains and our bodies to the clock and look at it at the same time every day. But I think you're seeing it in weird places, like you're seeing it on tags or license plates. You're seeing it on billboards. You go to a restaurant and you um, you end up getting the bill and the bill has, you know, tag number, you know, ticket number 333 or something like that, or your bill comes to that amount, whatever it is. But we have um, the seeing the threes means that help is on the way, that you need to keep growing and that your prayers are about to come true and that the new journey is so close. That's what it feels like. It feels like someone is preparing to go on this new journey here. And uh, the new moon, of course. So uh, you might want to Google that one is the next new moon and you will know that maybe that is a timeline for some of you. You might begin to see these repetitive numbers as the new moon approaches. There you go. We're talking about you. Or maybe your person could be on the cusp or your person could be a Pisces as well. Uh, we have more water signs. So now they also could be Cancer or Scorpio. Um, then we have fives. Fives mean great change. Like when I say great change, I mean huge change. I mean, when you look back at this year, you're going to say, who was that? Because this change is permanent change. And it's so quick that um, you just kind of have to follow along at this point. So, um, I mean, if you want to, but it says here, quick change, new love, embrace the changes, follow your intuition and uh, positive changes, freedom and adventure. So things are going about to start to roll quickly after this meeting here. Um, this person is really serious about you, but they're going to come to you as the king of swords. They're not going to let you see them be, be uh, you know, e e really emotional. Although I do feel this person is incredibly emotional or they wouldn't be coming you to try coming to you to try and resurrect this thing. So there is some big change coming here. And, um, 
I feel like it is with you, Pisces. We've got water signs and Pisces. So your person could be Scorpio or Cancer um, or maybe a Cuspy, right? And so I feel like there's going to be big changes coming here for you around the new moon. You might be warned by that already. Being Some people say, I'm just plagued with the numbers. Will the numbers stop? And know that, that um, this could be, you know, Numbers, we've got threes and fives. Maybe you're seeing three, five, three, five, or five, three, five, three, right? Maybe um, they're going into four digit numbers, which is an indication that you're growing in your spirituality. This person could be a father. They don't have to be. We could be speaking about a masculine, but maybe they're an earth sign, right? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We saw that card here for sure. And the, uh, the king is a father, someone who is a provider. Warm as the sun. This person really is going to seem cold as ice at the beginning, but this person underneath is really someone who's very grounded in being kind and lovely and uh, emotional and connected to their emotions. This person just wants to be seen or they may have Leo in the chart. Um, I feel like they want to be seen by you and they're not scared to do it. Leo is also the um, lion. So I feel like um, as I'm... You know, Charlie always always kind of shows me the different depictions of the cards and the decks as I read. And for this, I always see um, uh, the, uh, it's in this deck, I believe. Um, it is uh, the woman who is sort of half person and half lion, but she has also got a lamb in front of her. So I feel like in the past, this person was a lamb and now they're the lion. It has, yeah, they have the the uh, energy of the lion. They're just going to go forward no matter what. They're going to win because they're the apex predator. I'm not saying that your person's a predator. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. But you know what? Like, th is there really a time when the lion isn't going to get what it wants? It's at the top of the food chain, right? So um, we have ones. So maybe you are seeing ones as well. I'm going to go for now, Pisces. I hope this is something that um, you uh, that resonated with you. Please let me know in the comments. I always love to be in the comments with you. I want to know who you are and how this is affecting you because I'm also a Pisces and I'd love to speak to other Pisces, okay? <laughs> I'm going to go for now. Thank you, Pisces. And I love you guys. See you next week. Bye-bye.